Hey there, I'm really excited to give you a tour of Laravel Cloud. In this video, we are going to deploy a Laravel app in under 60 seconds. We're going to set up auto scaling and hibernation. We are going to add a database, add cache, add storage, add our queue workers, add our scheduler. And we're going to do all of this with just a few clicks from the Laravel Cloud dashboard. We'll see why Laravel Cloud is the fastest way to deploy and scale our Laravel applications. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. Here I am in my Laravel Cloud dashboard. I've got three apps going already. Let me click new application. I already have my GitHub account linked here, so I'm gonna go click on repository. It brings in all of my repos that I have. I'll do my SaaS and I'll call it my super duper SaaS. All right, we're gonna click on region. And this is going to be the place where your app is physically served. So we want this to be as close as possible to your end users to ensure the fastest possible experience for them. I'm in Denver, so I'm going to do US East Ohio, and I'll click New Application. Now this will drop us into our application in the main environment, and you can see organizations, applications right here, and our environments. Now this is our main environment and you can deploy new environments off of different Git branches like staging or a feature branch, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and click deploy here. And Laravel Cloud is fine tuned for Laravel applications. So it knows exactly how to deploy your apps, how to run your migrations, how to do environment variables, how to run your build commands. If I go down here, it's preparing the build environment, running the build commands, which is composer install. And let's go down. It'll do the NPM install as well. And it will do the NPM run build for us. All right, that looks good. So it'll get to the end of the building phase. It'll start the deployment phase. And the cool thing about this, it is zero downtime deployment. So that means that as you're deploying your app as many times as you want, none of your users will see any downtime. They'll just be served the old deployment until the new deployment is ready to go. And check it out. It was ready to deploy, deployment done. Let's go see how long it took, 48 seconds. And that's fantastic for deploying Laravel apps. We really wanted to focus on speed of deploying your app. Here's the overview of our application. Let me show you some things we can do from just this view. We can configure a lot of things about our app from right here. Out of the box, Laravel Cloud gives you great networking features like DDoS protection, CDN, edge caching. You also get a Laravel.cloud domain right out of the box with every single application and you can add your own custom domain so if i click this we'll get one of our brand new starter kits the new laravel 12 landing page that looks great now let's talk about configuring our app let's see how fast we can do this from this view so here is our app cluster this is what serves all of the web traffic to your users if i click this i can start configuring it i can change the size of our compute power we have these flex instances all the way up to these pro instances. And I'm going to keep it. Let's upgrade to the one CPU, one gigabyte. Here we can configure auto scaling. Now this is really cool because right now it is on no auto scaling. So we're serving from a single replica. In terms of Laravel Forge, you can call this like one server. But really quickly, we can say, oh, we might get traffic. We might go viral. Let me click custom. I'll go up to seven. Let's start at two. So this means at a minimum, we're serving your application from two replicas and it can scale up to seven based on your usage. Now, this doesn't mean that you're paying for all seven, but this means this is your absolute maximum limit. It'll only use the seven if needed. And for hobby projects and side projects where you don't need the app running at all times, we have hibernation for you. So we can hibernate your app after, let's say one minute. If it doesn't receive any HTTP requests in one minute, it'll hibernate. You don't incur any costs for that time when it's hibernating. And Laravel Cloud knows about Laravel scheduler. You can just turn that on like that. You can add background processes. If this is a side project, you're gonna want to add your queue worker right here. And let's just do it right there under one process. We'll click that. And then we are going to save and deploy. That means all of the changes we're making here are going to be deployed to our app and take effect. All right, let's go back to environment. You can see everything that is happening here. If you have production workloads and you want your queue workers to be off of your app cluster, your app cluster serves your web traffic. Maybe you want your queue job on a separate worker cluster. 
you can add a new worker cluster and it has its own size, its own auto scaling, its own background processes, all that good stuff. Next, let's see how fast we can add these three resources, database, cache, and storage bucket, which are all great things to have for your Laravel applications. Let's go add database. I already have one here. Let me create a new database cluster. I'll go with Laravel serverless Postgres 17. We have Laravel MySQL 8 as well. The cool thing about serverless Postgres is it would scale up with your workload and it can scale down and hibernate so that you don't incur any costs while it's hibernating. We're creating a database cluster here and then a database inside of this cluster, we'll call that one main. You can update your size of your compute units. You can change your region. We do wanna keep this as close as possible to our app cluster for that speed. And let's go up to two, 0 0.5, hibernate after let's say 100 seconds. I don't foresee this getting much traffic. And the cool thing about this hibernation is that once it hibernates, it'll take a couple hundred milliseconds to wake back up. So I'll save those settings and I'll create the database cluster. You can see database compute starts at zero for Laravel serverless Postgres 17. And check it out. Our app is already hibernating for 21 seconds it won't wake up until somebody actually visits the site. You can see how fast that database was created. Very, very fast. I'll add a cache as well. I already have one built out. Let's click this one. Storage bucket as well. I have one here. I'll create a new bucket using Laravel object storage. All of that looks good. I'll click create bucket. And since Laravel cloud is fine tuned for Laravel, it can say, hey, do you want a disk name for this? And we'll use this as your default disk. So whenever you do storage disk, Laravel will use this newly created bucket for us. I'll click add bucket. And now we have database, cache, and storage all created with just a few clicks. I'll click save and deploy. And you might be wondering, hey, Chris, how does this work if I haven't really entered in any environment variables anywhere? My database credentials I have, but I didn't add them in. If you go to settings here, anytime you create resources like that, Laravel Cloud will automatically inject your environment variables for you. Let's scroll down. These are all great settings to look through. Here's our custom environment variables. These are the ones that we add ourselves. And that one was automatically added for us from Laravel Cloud. But these are the ones that are injected for us. So we have the database connection, which as soon as you create your database here, these get injected. You have Redis for the cache, which is using our Laravel KV store, which is a Redis compatible API. And we have our Laravel cloud disk config, which is the storage that we added. All right, so that's everything we would need for an application. It's getting a little cramped here, so let me go compact view. And just like that, you can see the entire topology of this application environment. And that's what it looks like to deploy on Laravel cloud. In about eight minutes, we were able to deploy our Laravel app, set up auto scaling and hibernation, and we were able to add a database, cache, and storage. We were able to set up our queue workers and our scheduler, lots of great things. And now we have a robust hosting setup. Our deployment is done and out of the way. Now we can really focus on what's important actually building our apps. For myself, I have to build this super duper SaaS now, which is exciting. So thanks for watching. Happy shipping.